Hi Junior Intermediate Girls Campers! Welcome to your week of Camp Loren at home! Hi, I'm Hutch and I'm the director of Girls Camp for Camp Loren. And my favorite things about camp are swimming and meeting new people and campers and all the old friends and crafts and Bible study and all of this stuff. So really everything's my favorite about camp. This is my dog Toby. And this year our theme is Under the Sea and I'm really excited for you guys because we're going to make some cool snacks and we're going to hear a Bible story and um, I hope that we're going to hear a little bit from some of our old leaders. So have a great summer and we're really looking forward to see all the cool stuff that you do at virtual camp. Hi, I'm Hutch and this is my dad and he's from Grace United Church in Cobden. Today he's going to read us a story of Jonah and the whale. Jonah and the whale, a story from the Bible. Jonah was a prophet who was preaching the word of the Lord to Israelites. One day, God called Jonah and told him to preach to Nineveh because the people were wicked and needed guidance there. Jonah hated this idea because Nineveh was one of Israel's greatest enemies and Jonah wanted nothing to do with preaching to them. Jonah ran away from God and in the opposite direction of the city of Nineveh. He headed to Joppa and climbed aboard a boat that would take him to Tarshish. God saw Jonah on the ship and sent a great storm upon the seas. The men decided that Jonah was to blame, that he had brought upon the storm on them, so they threw him overboard. And as soon as they tossed Jonah in the water, the storm stopped. God sent a big whale to swallow Jonah and to save him from drowning. And while in the, in the belly of the big whale, Jonah prayed to God for help, repented, and praised God. For three days and three nights, Jonah sat in the belly of the fish. All the while, Jonah kept thinking about himself and his plight. Then God had the big fish throw up Jonah on the shores of Nineveh. Jonah preached to Nineveh and warned them that the city would be destroyed in 40 days and to mend their ways before the time was up so that they could attain heaven. The people believed Jonah, turned from their wickedness. God had mercy on them and did not destroy the city once the 40 days were up. Jonah now became angry and bitter because God did not destroy the Ninevites who were Israel's enemy. He was afraid he would be now called a false prophet. So he went out of the city and built a hut and started living there. When Jonah sat to rest, God made a thick vine grow next to him, next to the hut, to give him the shade. Jonah was glad and sat in the shade. The next day, God sent a worm to eat the vine and a hot wind blew and the sun beat down mercilessly. Jonah was sad to see the vine destroyed and now sat in the hot sun complaining. God, God called out to Jonah and scolded him. He remarked that Jonah lamented the death of a plant that he had not sown or nourished, yet he thought nothing for the hundred thousand children who lived in the city of Nineveh and asked them to be destroyed. Then Jonah learned that all men, women, and little children whether they know God or not, are precious in the eyes of God. Hey campers, for our fun activity this week, we are going to be making camp cones. Now, you may be wondering what that is. Well, I'm here to tell you. So, camp cones are a fun dessert recipe that you can make whenever you feel like it or when you're having a campfire and it'll make your night super fun. So we need a couple ingredients for camp cones. The first thing that we need is a cone, as the name says. You can use any type of cone. I chose a sugar cone. Then you are also going to need some tin foil, some chocolate chips. I use the mini ones. Some marshmallows. I also use the mini ones so they fit a little bit better. And then you're going to pick something else that you want to add. This is kind of the chocolate chips and the marshmallows are kind of your base but then you can add strawberries or blueberries or pieces of cookies or whatever you can think of, but I'm gonna use caramel. 
here are the steps on how to make your camp cone. So, first thing you're going to do is take out a piece of tin foil and lay it on the table. Then you're gonna take your cone and you're gonna fill it with all of the ingredients that you want to be in your ooey gooey camp cone. So I'm gonna do some marshmallows, oops, a couple chocolate chips, and shake them around because they're the mini ones so maybe they'll go down. And then I'm gonna add a caramel, and a couple more marshmallows. And another caramel. And then I'm gonna put a couple more chocolate chips to see what holes they can fall down into. There we go. So, once your camp cone is all full, then you're going to carefully lay it down on your tin foil without letting all this stuff fly out. And then you're going to roll it up First, let's close the end up so that we don't lose any of our good stuff that we just put in there. And then we're gonna close the other end so that we don't have any leakage. And then we're gonna roll the sides like this so you've got a tight little cone. Then, with your cone all wrapped in tin foil, if you're using a campfire, you can put it right in the embers and leave it there for about five minutes. And then when you take it out, it'll be all ooey and gooey and delicious. But if you don't have a campfire at your disposal or there's a fire ban on in your area, you can also make this recipe in an oven or even a barbecue. If you're using an oven or a barbecue, you'll preheat your appliance to 350 degrees and you'll put it in for about 10 minutes. And then the same thing will happen when you take it out. It'll be all ooey and gooey and delicious. Enjoy! Remember that whenever you want to use a hot appliance, like an oven or a barbecue, or in our case, a campfire, make sure that there is a parent present and, th and that they do all the putting in and taking out of the hot appliances, because we don't want any campers to get burned. If you make camp cones this week or participate in any of the other Camp Loretta at Home activities, we want to see all the awesome stuff that you guys do. You can submit a photo or a video to us through Facebook or Instagram or by emailing it to us at camploren at belnet.ca. Remember that every time you send in a picture or a video of you participating in Camp Loren at Home, you automatically get entered into a draw to win a super cool camp prize. And we have so many camp prizes to give away, so we wanna see everything that you guys have been participating in. See you next time.